press share and draw scooter. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. For this lesson, we're gonna use our pencil first and then our marker. You also need some? Paper and something to call it. Yeah, you ready to start? Pencil. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we're using our pencil first so that we can draw the main shapes or the wheels for our scooter. And that's because our, half the wheel will be covered up by the scooter. So we're gonna draw a circle over here. Oh, we could also draw the ground if we want. Let's, let's do that first. We're gonna draw a horizontal line going across our paper. Then we're gonna draw another circle over here to match. And I'm gonna draw it kind of close to the edge of the paper so that we have room in between the wheels. I'm gonna go back over it one more time just to make sure that's the size that I want. I'm trying to get it to look the same as this wheel over here. Yeah. I like that you practice and you drew it again. And that's the nice part about drawing with a pencil is if you have too many lines, you can use an eraser to erase any of the extra lines you don't want to keep. Yeah. Next, let's draw another circle inside of each wheel. So I'm going to draw it that size and try to match that same size for the back wheel. I'm going to go over it again. There we go. And then I'm going to erase these extra lines. Then we can also add one more circle inside that's a lot smaller. Next, we're going to draw a diagonal line as a guideline that comes up for the handles. So we're going to start from the front wheel, the center of the front wheel, and then draw a diagonal line that comes up pretty high. Yeah, and then let's draw a horizontal line just above the center. I'm turning my paper sideways so it's a little easier to draw. I'm going to draw it coming across like this, and I'm going to do it one more. There we go. And then stop maybe right here on this wheel or this circle right here. I'm going to draw that one more time. There we go. And I'm going a little past the wheel on the right. So you can go up just above here. Yeah, that was a So really start cute. here. That's a, probably a good spot there, but then you're going to come here. And you can, tr yeah, you can turn your paper sideways. Yeah, you did it. And then you can erase that extra line. We're all done with our pencils. We can put those off to the side. We've got all of the main shapes and guidelines that we need, and we can switch to our marker. Now, let's first draw this line, the horizontal line that we last drew. So I'm going to trace over it and come right through to where we stopped. Now we're going to put our markers off to the side and erase the top of the wheel, the back wheel. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now we're ready to switch back to our marker and we're gonna start here. We're gonna curve diagonal up. And then when we get to about there, I'm gonna draw it straight and come just past the wheel. So we've got this little jump up. Then we're gonna finish the fender or draw the top of the fender. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape or a curve that comes around and we're gonna stop here. Let's switch to our eraser again and erase all of the guidelines inside of that fender. Now we're ready to draw the back fender and we're gonna start here in front of the back wheel and we're gonna draw a big upside down U also, but I'm gonna come up a little bit taller and also maybe tip it towards the front. So I'm gonna come up like this, we're gonna curve around and then I'm gonna stop right here on the back line. Well, it's starting to look really cool. Yeah. Nice. Then let's start here. We're going to draw the seat. We're going to come up from the fender. Then we're going to go straight across. So horizontal. Then we could draw a short little line coming down. There you go. And then down. This part's going to be really fun. We're going to draw a curve, we're gonna get really close to the fender. 
Then we're gonna curve around to the front. And then right here, we're gonna go up and I'll stop there so you can catch up. Nice, and then stop right before we get to this diagonal line. Then we're gonna match the diagonal line direction and we're gonna come up and stop when we get to the top of that line. Yeah, next we're gonna draw a straight horizontal line at the very top. Oh, it looks like a letter T. Then we're gonna draw a circle for the end of the handlebar. Then we're gonna come forward for the front or the top of the handlebars. And right here at the end, we're gonna draw a backwards C or a sideways U shape for the headlight. Then let's draw a oval or squished circle to finish the headlight. Nice, and we could also add some extra details for the handle. I'm gonna draw two curves right there. Almost looks like a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the front of our scooter. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna match that diagonal line coming down. And then when we get to here, I'm gonna curve out. And then let's draw a diagonal line down. Let's also add a few more details on the front. We're gonna draw a curve up here at the top. And then down here, we're gonna draw we're going to trace along this and then we're going to come down further and then we're going to connect to the back fender. Yeah. Okay. Now watch this. We're going to repeat that same line, but we're going to start here. We're going to match it coming down and then we're going to come down even further and then stop at the edge. Perfect. Okay. Now let's draw the seat. I'm going to draw another horizontal line right here above this one that we drew. Then we're going to draw a curve to connect the top into the bottom on the front and also the back. We could also add two lines for detail on the seat. Oh, let's draw the tail light. We're going to draw a line out, down, and then back in. And then maybe we have another light right here. We could draw a line in, down, and then forward. Yeah. Now let's finish our wheels. We're going to start here and we'll draw a little curve that doesn't complete. We're not going to finish the circle. And then we're going to draw two lines that connect to the fender. Then let's draw another circle or curve that goes all the way around. And then let's do that again for the pencil line. We'll trace over that one. And then let's draw the wheel or the tire all the way around the outside. Then we can do the same thing for the back. Let's draw, let's draw over the pencil line. Oh, and we could add also a little extra detail. Maybe this is the chain that comes back here. We're gonna connect to that. Then let's draw over the pencil line. And then over the pencil line for the tire. And then we can also trace over the ground line. Let's add one more detail. We can draw a couple lines right on top of each other. Maybe this is a little vent on the fender. We did it, Austin. We finished drawing our scooters, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Except before we color it, let's do one more thing. We'll use our eraser to erase any guidelines we can still see. You ready to speed things up? Yeah.
Bob Dad did. Great job on your drawing. Thanks. You did a great job too, Austin. I especially love that you changed the colors. We also used our white colored pencil to add highlights to make our scooters look even shinier. But you can color your drawings any way you want. You can also add a background. Yeah, that would be really cool to add a background. You could also even draw yourself riding the scooter. That would be really cool too. Yeah. If you have our same Art for Kids hub markers and want to use the same colors, we use CG9 for the wheels, the outside tire, and then we also use CG5 and also CG1 for the silver. Then I use 66 blue, and what color red did you use? 15. We also use 33 yellow and 103 brown for the seat. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a scooter. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.